how to create playlist in DJ Pro for the Mac book. So there are a couple of ways to start creating a playlist on this amazing app for the MacBook. Number one is going to be up here in files. This is a Mac app. So we have this file section. This is not here in the app for the iPad. So over here we have files and then we have new playlist, new smart playlist, and then new playlist folder. So we could start there. And then I just want to show you something else over here. Down here, we have all of our music sources, our files, our streaming service. Then up here, it's the same symbol as it is for app, for the iPad. And then we have playlist, and then we have the plus button. So it's either up here in files, then new playlist, or you press this button here, plus, and then we get the same options as up here. New playlist, new smart playlist, and new playlist folder. So... A new playlist is just going to create a one page playlist. Let's say you wanted to do 90s hip hop. You could do that by creating a playlist. A smart playlist, you could change the parameters uh, either by BPM, genre, and a couple of other options. It's a little more advanced and I will make a separate video about smart playlists. And then next is playlist folders. So what a playlist folder is, is essentially a playlist inside of a playlist. So what you can do, for example, with a playlist folder is you can do maybe 2000s music and then inside that you could do 2000s hip hop, 2000s EDM, 2000s country. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a playlist folder and then we'll go on to a regular playlist. So add playlist folder and then now we are going to create the name. So I am just going to do 2 thousands and now we have a playlist folder for the 2000s so we click on that we select that and then we do add playlist so now it's in 2000s and then this playlist is going to be hip hip hop so there we go click on the playlist again add it again add a playlist to it the next one is going to be, for example, country. I don't think people DJ with country a lot, but if you do, there we go. So now we have hip hop and country inside of this 2000s playlist. And then if you press this little arrow here, it'll make it smaller so you can be more organized. So here are, our, so that's our folder. And now these are our playlists. So I'm going to show you how to make the playlist. It. So here we go. We have it selected. We have it over here. And we have our two playlists. So now what you can do is go to your music sources. And I didn't log into my streaming services yet. So let's, for example, find some hip hop. So in my sources, whether you use Tidal, whether you download your own music, or right now I'm using the music that they give me for the example. All right, so now we are in hip hop. And I just think it's easier to see it as a list than to see it as the album art so you press this over here so now we have all of these songs whether you're using a streaming service or music you downloaded it'll be the same thing and then over here on the right you may have something else selected like music or something over here you're going to need to be in your playlist so select over here the playlist and now it has hip hops over here so all you're going to do is take it and drag it find the other song you want take it and drag it find more songs that you want take it and drag it and then if you want to change the order to keep yourself organized all you do is click it and then drag it to where you want it and then now we are starting to make a playlist let's find another song all out drag it over here and it's in our playlist now we have some options and then there we go. We have our playlist. So the playlist is over here. And then even if we go back to here, to our sources, go back to our playlist in our folder. And here we go. We have hip hop and then we have country. So you would just keep adding it over to the right into your playlist. And you can make as many playlists as you want. I suggest when you get booked for a gig, make a gig-specific playlist for that gig. Try to have twice as many songs that then you're going to need. But then also make 
pre-made playlist like this for the, I like to have the decades. You could have a pre-made playlist for your intros or however you want to do it. And if you want to learn how to make playlists on this app for the iPad, check out this video over here. Thank you.